Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm very glad to have this opportunity to introduce the GS Tourism in China. And I'm Yu Hongston from Tourism College of Beijing Uni University. And I've been working in the GS Tourism area since I'm a master's student. And now I'm still working on that. So today I would like to share some of our researches in China. And I want to start to talk about something of rural tourism because GS tourism happens in a rural environment. And sometimes they are connected very closely. Uh, as we know, the COVID-19 uh, brought many impacts on tourism. And in China, the domestic tourist decreased to 52.1% uh, than last year. And while it started to recover 60% uh, of the same time in 2019. And the main reason is people started to travel to city around the area instead of the long distance travel. In that case, the rural tourism is getting more attention than before. And in fact, the rural tourism developed very quickly um, from, uh, for many years in China. In 2006, the uh, tourism theme was the China Road Tourism, and over 100,000 villagers uh, benefited from the road tourism development, and over uh, 80 million farmers are benefited. And in 2021, the road tourism income is up to more than 30% of the whole tourism income. And since GS is a new concept, people can easily mix it with the rural uh, tourism easily. And sometimes also uh, can be mixed with the ecotourism, agritourism, et cetera. And to some extent, uh, and they have the similar uh, part, I think, like they are all based on the community and they're uh, environmental friendly and the small scale, but they're not exactly the same uh, because uh, the core of the GS tourism is the heritage tribute and the identity building is very important for the GS tourism, while not just to the mass, to the mass sightseeing. So uh, we can get some experience from the rural tourism, agritourism and ecotourism, but we have to capture the, the core essence of the GS tourism. Uh, and the people will be attracted by the theme of agriculture heritage sites. That is why uh, we need to talk about the GS tourism uh, from the first uh, place. And many recent examples of food tourism actually support the conservation of heritage sites and artifacts. And uh, from the beginning of this project, the tourism was considered as the dynamic conservation approach. So in China, we think uh, uh, GS tourism is a very important uh, approach for the um, for the local development and the community identity building. Yeah, um, uh, can, can I can I interrupt? So can you put your video on? We don't see okay. you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, how about now? I have some I have some problem with my my video. And how about I now? I don't okay. see you yet. Ah, uh, yeah, I see you now. Yeah. So you Perfect. can see me now. So yes. how about? No, now no. Oh, sorry. Is there something wrong with my? My video, I think. Oh, I was okay. seeing before. So put the oh. same section if we can. Okay, I'll do it again. And uh, how about now? Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, now I would. Again, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the problem of my uh, of my computer. No problem. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll try to. It's kind of a waste of time. So, okay, I'm sorry for that. So, I'll continue my presentation. And okay. now I would like to share two researches uh, we have done in recent years. And all in the first uh, uh, GS sites of China is the rice fish system in uh, Qingtian County of Zhejiang Province, uh, southeast of China. And which I suppose most of you uh, know it, uh, uh, maybe some of you know, and uh, some of you know it quite well. And the first one is about the traditional food conservation and tourism. Uh, because we find the tourists are easily to be attracted by the delicious food of the agriculture heritage site. And the food can feed people, bring commercial opportunities, convey meaning and may evoke authenticity 
the identity, cultural values, uh, education opportunities, which connects to the heritage conservation and the tourism development. So uh, in this research, we concentrated to how the rule of the traditional food plate and how their functions can uh, act on the uh, local development. And in the Longxian village, people plant many kinds of plants as food, and they also raise the fish, and they baked the, the traditional homemade uh, dried fish. And it is very interesting to find that those fish, those food can be found most of the time around their houses and the living places. We have mapped uh, uh, all the uh, plants and the food and uh, analyzed them uh, by the, uh, the uh, ArcGIS. And by the research of the tourist data, we classified them as two categories and to, uh, of the tourist. Now, one uh, group is the food flavor pursuer and the food culture pursuer. And it proves that uh, uh, the first type of the tourist to have a lower environmental responsibility and the leader has the higher uh, responsibility, uh, which are the, uh, that means the second type is the target tourists we need to focus. And we also want to transfer the first uh, uh, type of the tourists into the second type. And uh, uh, another, uh, another research is about the community participation and the tourism development, which is related to the role identity of the community uh, and also connected to the livelihood of uh, the local community. And this research is trying to reveal the relationship between the community rural identity and the heritage conservation during tourism development. And uh, in 2019, we have interviewed uh, 40 villagers uh, uh, in during 40 days of the summer vacation. And uh, we use the time lock method and to try to find the uh, uh, the different types of, uh, uh, of the interviewers of the residents uh, according to their uh, daily lives activities. And the four types of the residents are uh, according to the use of their daily time. And uh, it is very interesting to find that tourism is not the reason of uh, less farming. If they have more time, uh, if they don't do tourism, they will use more time to watch TV, to do some little things, sleeping, but they don't do more farming. So uh, we don't need to worry about that. Tourism can occupy more time uh, for their farming time. And according to the research, uh, the majority of the residents of the heritage site can be grouped into four categories by the interaction between the level of tourism participation and the degree of the rural identity. And the degree of the residents rural identity is related to the degree of uh, tourism participation. Uh, the highest degree of the rural identity is found, which means it is the second, uh, secondary strongly participation uh, type of uh, tourism residence. That means we call it uh, uh, heritage garden residence. And if you look at here, um, the garden residents have the, the higher heritage con con recon uh, recognition, they have the higher uh, police attachment, and they also have the higher uh, farming intention. So that is very interesting uh, uh, findings. And we have published uh, uh, the two papers. And if you're uh, interested, want no more information, and I would like to share the paper with you. So those are the cases in China I want to share because of the time. Uh, we don't have more time to share more. So uh, if you want to know more, uh, please email me. Okay, thank you very much for your listening.